Hi everyone, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming, and today I figured I would go through a simple guide on how to install all of your game launchers on the Steam Deck. Um, I, I know this might be easy for some folks, but um, just through looking at comments, I can notice that some people are new to PC gaming, and that's essentially what the Asus ROG Ally is. So um, th there is a handy app that kind of goes through that, so I'm just going to take a few minutes and go through... Um, how to use it, basically how to get to the game launchers, and then how to install your games from there. So um, we'll go ahead and jump right into it here. Now if you um, look at the device, you're going to have these buttons on the side here. Now this little icon on this right button here is the uh, ROG uh, icon for Asus. Now they use the same icon for motherboards and other devices that they create. Um, so it's familiar to me because I already have an Asus motherboard, but if you didn't know what that is, that's what that stands for. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is hit that button. So once you get into it here, you're going to see I've got my game library, which they kind of organize automatically for you, which is pretty nice. So I think it might come with uh, maybe Xbox on it to, by default. Uh, but these will get added as you add the different game launchers and then of course you can see my games are showing up on here as well so I've got my game launchers and I've got the games uh, associated with them if you take a look here you can see like the Diablo one has a little icon for battle.net Battletoads has an icon for Xbox and I've got Biomutant through GOG Galaxy and so all these are different launchers like you can see this one is Epic um, I've got Steam ones, EA ones, so I pretty much got games on every system. So in order to get this set up, you're going to have to actually go um, up top and go to your launchers. Now if, if you look at the top, you see you've got game library up here, then you've got settings and content. And I'm going to make another video that goes through these in more detail, um, just if, if people have questions about them and, and try and help them get familiar with the device. But for um, this video we're going to be going to the content section and so you can see up here uh, I've got it zoomed in a little bit but this top right bumper here that moves you to the right and then this top left bumper moves you back and forth left and right on the device so when we go to content here you're gonna see an option for game platforms and so that has the icons for all the different launchers now if you had some type of game that you just download directly from a website or if you play games like .io games on the website then you would just go to the browser for that but for this case we're going to click on the game platforms I'll go ahead and click it with A instead of um, hitting it so if you notice on all of these you can see I've got a little checkbox that says installed and so this is just letting you know you've got the launcher installed now clicking on any of these should take you to the website uh, to install it so I'll go through one here like for GOG Galaxy if you hit that it's gonna bring up the uh, web browser for it or actually sorry in my case since I've already got it installed it's going to launch GOG Galaxy so um, in, in this case it's going straight to it but otherwise it would just take you directly to um, the website for each of these so if you if you own games on any of these platforms then you can go ahead and go in there and download the app for it and then log in like normal uh, to get access to your games now for Xbox I'll go ahead and show that one so Xbox is um, the one system that has uh, the game library if you've got Xbox uh, uh, Game Pass Ultimate and so in that case it'll bring up the Xbox which is kind of built in because they partnered with Microsoft on this and then you can just go to Game Pass and you can kind of go through here and see uh, what uh, games you have um, and let me show you another option here too so um, right here you can kind of see that there's this gamepad mode and this this might be good to point out especially when you're installing all these browsers now gamepad it shows it's in control mode now if I hit A on that or if I touch it then it's going to switch that um, over to auto or to gamepad or to desktop so if I switch this to gamepad then I can kind of navigate as if I'm using a controller here so see you've got my friends over there 
And I like to use a touch screen as well, but you know, this is kind of like if you're actually playing on an Xbox. Um, so it really just, you might want to kind of play around with these and use it the way you think is best. Now, if you have this set to desktop, then you're essentially going to use the right thumbstick here to get in here and choose your games. So if we want to use that uh, more like a like a computer with a touchpad in a way, uh, then you can go to your library if you own games, or you can just go into Game Pass and discover your next favorite games. Uh, so if you look here, these are picks that they have for me, um, but you can go and look at any of them. Now I see this is a little bit clunky to use to navigate. Um, so uh, that's something I think they'll probably improve over time. Um, but uh, you can leave it in control mode, but gamepad is probably one of the easier ones to navigate for something like Xbox. Um, so just kind of play around with it. You can kind of see here I've got the games I've already got installed here um, in gamepad mode. And then you can just launch these using the A button on the right here. Let me go ahead and pull that in. So everything you do is in gamepad mode, you're going to launch typically with this A button. It's going to act very similarly to an Xbox controller. So anyway, that's kind of a quick overview. I hope you found it helpful. If you do, please leave a like. Give me a comment if there's other things you'd like me to uh, throw some quick tutorials out there for. And I uh, hope you all have a great day. Thanks, everyone.